In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a subscription or recurring payment option to your WooCommerce products in WordPress. It's a simple plugin and uh, we'll get straight into it. So I'm logged into the dashboard of my WordPress website. I'm going to scroll down on the left here on plugins. I'm going to click add new plugin. And type in subscriptions for WooCommerce. And you'll see here subscriptions for WooCommerce by WP Swings. I'm going to click install now. And then I'm going to activate the plugin. You'll see here, I've landed on this page here, but I've also on the left here got this menu WP Swings with subscriptions for WooCommerce if you want to come back here. The first thing they get you to do is they, for one, whether you want to actually activate the, the plugin or not, and then you can actually change the label for subscription products. So you can say add subscription to cart and the place order button could be, you know, order your subscription or something like that. You can change it to whatever you want or you can simply leave it the way it is. But uh, I was going to put that there so you can see in the video. So I'm going to click next. Now it says here for me to create a product. I've done this before yet the product for some reason hasn't shown up. So I'm just going to put in here membership basic is our basic membership program and I'm just going to basically put that in there here's more information and I'm going to add in there so let's say we want to go $19.99 per month subscription interval will be once per month and click next now I've got my stripe set up not the PayPal all good We're, we've pretty much got a payment option there so click next so you will have to have stripe or paypal set up in order to actually work this plugin into your uh, store um, right now this is only a test i'm going to say no but uh, this is just so people they can collect some information about the usage of the plugin so i'm going to click finish and we're good to go so now if i actually go back into wp swings and click on this you will see the information that I've input earlier here, and I can change it if I want to. But I also want to give customers the option to unsubscribe, to cancel their subscription and stop paying. So I'm going to click that box and click Save Settings. Now you can choose to do that or not. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but after that, that's pretty much all the options we have, and then the rest are actually in the product itself. If I go into the subscription table, this would be where you would see people who are subscribed and what product they're subscribed to. For now, I'm gonna go into my products and I'm gonna first of all check if our test product was created, which it doesn't appear to have been, which is a bit of a funny one, but it's all good. Now I go to products and add new. I'm gonna create a membership product for us to sell. I'll call this one product name. I'm gonna call it membership. And I'm going to just put here my long description, a short description, get a monthly membership or something like that. So just so we can see that's on the page, I'm going to quickly add a product image like you normally would in any other product. So maybe something like this videotape or something a bit taller. We'll just add this in there. So you would set up your product uh, as you would normally, nothing different, you know, put in your title, your long description, short description, your product images. When we get down to product data, you'll notice we have, if I zoom out a little, a subscription tick that I can now add. So now when I, I'm actually gonna to go to virtual as well, since for whatever reason, I'm, what I'm selling is virtual. Maybe it's if you're selling gym, just gym membership and you're using this as a management system, that's one thing you could do. Probably not necessarily the best idea for that. I'm not too sure. I would investigate that, but we're gonna make it just to differentiate, $21.99. And here, under subscription settings, subscription intervals will be per month. So once per month, or you can set it two years, or once every three months. It's pretty uh, customizable. Now this here, the expiry interval, if I leave this blank, it will go on and just continue to charge. But maybe I only want someone to sign up for a year. So I'm going to say 12 months. There will be initial sign up fee of $2.50 with a free trial period of say 18 days. 
So there's a few options there you can play with. You can leave these. You can. It's just a simple case of what you would prefer to set up for your customers when they're purchasing. So I'm actually just going to save the draft here. Now, if you were ready, you would publish this product, but this is a live website. That's why I used it for my payment gateway so we could properly sort of demonstrate it. I'm just gonna to go to view product. If I scroll down, you see here we have membership, which is my title, price, as well as the description. So it's $21.99 per month for 12 months, 18 day free trial, $2.50 sign up fee. It's not, uh, this, this could be de sort of demonstrated or displayed a little better, but if this is what you're after, it does a trick. Um, you know, it, there's nothing really wrong with that. But um, I say I'm happy to go with that. I'm gonna add subscription to cart. And now you can see what it is customers are seeing when they sign up. So they're only paying $2.50 for the sign up fee for the 18 day free trial. And then they will be charged $21.99 each month thereafter. So I'm gonna go proceed to check out. And if I scroll down, You can see we've got our fee here, we've got our credit card and order your subscription. So that is essentially it. That is how you can set that up and get subscription and recurring payments going through there. So that's a free plugin by WP Swings. Very handy if you're looking to set up some form of membership. If you're running a membership website, you might wanna choose a more complete uh, plugin for actually setting up a membership website, but this could be handy if you're running sort of off-site subscription services. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, check out the plugin and also give the video a like. Uh, if you have any questions about this plugin also, I actually highly recommend checking out wpswings.com. They have a whole a range of plugins. I'll pop a link in the description below. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.